What is up, New York Jets fans? I am your late night midnight. Uh, I'm sorry, your late night New York Jets host, Midnight Mike, coming to you from the Long Island Sound, ready for another hopefully great show. Thank you, everyone who's joining us early. If you hit that thumbs up, it'll really help more people see us and come in, join in the conversation, call into the show, get in the comments, all that stuff. A lot of things to talk about tonight. Go, 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 Jets and fight. There you go. And one line, well, of course, we're going to hit the Jets chant. Come on. Jets, Jets, Jets. Welcome to the show, everybody. Midnight Mike here. I'm excited to be here. Pretty soon we'll be bringing in my co-host, Maddie. I got to put the uh, link down in the comments section. So that not only he can get in, but hopefully some of you guys can get in and call, speak to us, see what's going on here tonight. This is the last night, folks. This is the last night that we're going to be coming to you with those dreadful uniforms being our primary uniform. They are finally going the way of the dinosaur, hopefully, and becoming extinct to New York Jets fans. That is going to be a main talking point tonight on the show, and I've talked about it before, how the New York Jets can fuck this up. And tonight we're going to go over everyone. I, I, I actually, well, I was supposed to have a, uh, I was supposed to have a, a dry erase marker. Uh, I have my dry erase board, and I was going to kind of come at you and literally mark off the things that the Jets could do to potentially fuck up these new uniforms. And I'm terrified of it because that's what the Jets do. That's why I hate the New York Jets, folks. It's why I've, I, bu I built this channel to be a New York Jets channel. Because all, I do, all I've done for the past 40 years is bitch about the New York Jets and my family, my wife, everyone else. Is sick of it. Like, hey, just go bitch to the people on the internet, please. And that's why I'm here with you guys. So hit that thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Do not think for a second that on Monday, when those Jets uniforms come out, that they could throw us a curveball and somehow screw this all up. It can happen, folks. I, I know we saw those legacy jerseys in that Bills game and in that Chiefs game, and we said, oh, my God, these are so beautiful. These, are, these, these, these uniforms are so gorgeous. Can't the Jets just do this? And, yes, they can just do that, and we'll all be thrilled. You know, the, the white, the, the, home, the home green, that's all they need. But they overthink things. Not just uniforms, they overthink everything. You know, the drafts and free agency and all that stuff throughout the years. I'm not talking about this year in particular. I'm just saying throughout the years, the New York Jets have learned how to screw over the fans. And, and they don't care. You know, they don't care. We're most of you are going to go buy those uniforms anyway, regardless of if you, even if they fuck them up. Because a lot of you went out and bought the uniforms that they were wearing the past five years. But we could finally say rest in peace to those uniforms. And these uniforms... These the past five year uniforms, which once again, I don't even think they deserve. Like when I when I talk about the Jets uniforms that we're getting back, the legacy uniforms, I always call them the Jets Jets swoosh logo uniforms because they have the swoosh above Jets, right? And then you have the throwbacks, which are the uh, ninety eight to like you know five years ago, the ones that everyone recognized Vinny in and Chad Pennington in and Mark Sanchez in and all those. I call those the throwbacks. And then, of course, you have the classics, the ones that Namath won the Super Bowl and the one that the Jets won the a uh, AFL championship in. Those classics. The, the, the past five years, these uniforms, they're, they're nothing. They're nothing. They're, they don't even deserve, they don't deserve a, a, a nickname. They don't deserve anything. But you guys went out there and bought them anyway, right? But these uniforms are not going to be, okay, so when I was a kid, I grew up with the Jets swoosh logos. And then in 98, when they brought back the throwbacks, it was like a whole new thing. It was like, I was so excited to see them. It was like, I was a whole new generation getting to see these New York Jets uniforms in, 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 on the field. And in 94, they did those, they did kind of a throwback. Uh, the, the, the helmets were inverted. They were green. Um, and, and, and that was cool to see. I, I did enjoy that. Uh, if you want to hear more about my top five New York Jets logo or uniforms, Go to the video section of my YouTube channel, and it's like the second video up there. It's like, uh, the, like when you, as soon as you click on it, there's like me reacting to the Jets losing Bryce Huff, and then the next one down is my top five New York Jets uniforms of all time. 
But these ones, these ones for the past five years, it, it's not going to be like, because now they're releasing the legacy uniforms. So the, the, the kids that grew up only knowing the throwback uniforms and weren't alive in the 80s and 90s for those Jet Swoosh logo uniforms, now they're going to be able to see it. So it's like me in 98 getting to see the, the classic uniforms, the kids and the 20 and 20, early 20s, maybe even 30-year-old people are now going to get to see those swoosh logos come back. In 20 years, folks, they're not going to be bringing back, mark my words, these are going to these uniforms over the past five years are going to be buried. Buried. We're never going to see them again, thank God. They were so ugly. They were so Nike. Ugh. What else happened this week? Oh, O.J. Simpson died. Come on, guys. Come on. Sit, sit down. I know. I know. Sit down. Uh, good riddance to that one. I hope he's looking up at me right now saying, you know what, Midnight Mike? Don't ever do as I did. Don't ever do as I did. Don't murder your wife. Don't murder her boyfriend. But uh, he's, probably, he's probably too busy to be talking to me right now from hell. Uh, there's something, one other thing before I bring Maddie in, there's something else I want to talk about later in the show. And, um, I never, I never taught. There's like one, maybe two jets content creators that I'm not too hot on. Okay. All the other ones I love. I love Jake Asman. I love watching him. I love green bean. I love Matt O'Leary. I love Ryan jets 24 seven, you know, even jets chaos and gunny and jet central. Like all these guys are amazing. I love them. But there's, there, there's one that's always rubbed me the wrong way. And tonight, I'm finally going to talk about it. I'm finally going to talk about it. That's going to be later in the show. I'm not going to bury him. I'm not going to bury him. But there's just, it's just something that's always rubbed me the wrong way. And it's something that I, I feel like after what happened this past week, I can, I, can, I can just admit it and talk about it. Guys, please hit those thumbs up. The more thumbs up we get, the more people see that we are live. And I wanted to have a calm, chill Saturday night show tonight. Obviously, I want you guys to call in if you want to talk to me and Maddie. But like last Saturday, we had Gunny on from New York Jets Situation Report. That was awesome. You know, the, the, the two previous Saturdays from that, we had Ian from Jet Central. And I mean, we've gotten to the point where the comments section gets blown up. I love it. I love it. I love your guys' comments. And I'm going to go into the comments here as soon as I get Maddie in here. And we're going to go over some of them. We're going to have a chill night. We're going to talk about these uniforms. We're going to have the funeral for the ugly last five years, Adam Gase and Robert Sala era, if you want to call them that. Like, what would you even call them, folks? Get, get, tell me. What are we? They don't deserve a nickname. I said that. But what, what would we call them? What would we call them? Let's bring them in. Ladies and gentlemen, my co host and your friend. Maddie, what's up, man? How you doing? What's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? Mike, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing? I'm good, man. Um, my neighbors are having a big UFC party next door, so I'm like, I'm like going, don't be so loud. It fucks up the show. But uh, other than that, man, it's been a, it's been a week. You know, I'm waiting to see what nightmare is going to show up tomorrow. Just because that's been the last couple Sundays. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, really excited. Less than 48 hours away from the new logo dropping. The new logo, which is the worst kept secret in the NFL. <coughs> um, I do. I, when, we, when we talk about it, there could be there could be something that fucks it up. And I'll talk about it. I, I think you're being overly pessimistic. But I want to hear what you have to say. Because I'm very curious as to what you think could happen. Because I haven't given it that much thought in the sense of... I, I, I Like, I'm feeling really happy right now. I'm going... They're listening to the fan base. They heard what we want. They're going to go with yep. it. You know, I, that makes me feel really good because for how many years have the Jets drafted the guy we didn't want? Done shit. We've been like, oh, the fans hate this. Like, Jets fans have this reputation of hating everything their franchise does. And for once, everybody's like, oh, good call. So I'm, I'm feeling good about that. Um, yeah, I, I'll tell you, the fan, the fan base is definitely kind of uh, – uh, kind of behind this. Like, it seems like if they just come back with the legacy uniforms, everyone will be happy. I feel like if they don't overthink it, don't do anything too crazy. Hey, Nick, what's up, baby? It's good to see you. That's what um, they're going to do, though, Maddie. That's what they're going to I do. They're going to overthink it and screw it up. I see. I'm, I'm going optimist on this one, which is not normal for me with the Jets, but I think they're just going to be like, 
fuck it. We don't even have to do any work. Like, honestly, it's less work. They're just like, oh, here's those jerseys. Boom. Make it so. I'm hoping. We'll see. I wonder if this but, is uh, uh that says let's go Jets Lane. I don't know if that's the lane train. We asked him that last time. Lane train from Jake Gasman. But uh what's up? What's up, Lane? How you doing? Let's keep going. Finally, let's F and go infrared. He he's in here. Uh what's our boy super what's up, fan? boys? New York Jets super fan. God, I love I love seeing all you guys returning. This is great. Dakota J. He's I mean, this is this. I'm just early night, Mike. What do you mean early night early night for you you have to leave us early i mean we're not early we're here at 9 p.m every saturday night and if you want to call in i did see somebody in the green room but it was like at the beginning of the show and i was talking and then of course maddie comes in we have our conversation usually the best time to call into our show would be like 20 25 30 minutes into the show when you know we start running out of shit to say <laughs> but that's yeah, what it looks exactly. like folks <laughs> we're old we run out of gas real fast um yeah, no, I'm excited, though. I have to say, I, I haven't been this excited for a Jets season. Like, every day I get just a little more like I go on NFL.com. I'm just, I'm just like, man, I'm I'm looking forward to it. But I have to say, I didn't expect this. Um, You know, listen to you before I came on. I'm really excited to hear who you don't like. Like, I'm uh, really, yeah, I'm gonna really into that. it. And because here's the thing. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I, I look. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, oh. well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. You go. Okay. Um, no, no. What I what I was what I was yeah. What I was saying is is that uh, I don't usually um, I, on, my, on my old podcast that I had for ten years. If someone uh -huh. pissed me off, believe me, I'd come out and I would just just I'd bury the shit out of them. Um, I'm right. not like that on the show. I'm not gonna bury this person, but I am gonna tell you what rubbed me the wrong way and what and and just why I don't I don't really like this person's well, content I, nor do i like this person's character i don't think that's a bad thing because look it's it's more like constructive criticism and professional courtesy in the sense of you're saying look this isn't my cup of tea this is why you're not going to go out there and just slander whoever it is i know you but at the same time it's interesting to point out because i gotta be honest with you guys like there are like three or four jets content creators i like like just because there's too many like there's so many of us out there that I can't keep up. Like, I don't, like, nothing against Green Bean. If he's on, I watch him, like, if he's on guest or something. But I literally watch, I watch Ian. I, I, if, if the Buffalo Jets fan has, like, a, oh, he's a another one I like. Yeah. Line, I like him. I think he's very smart. And then, uh, I, I used to call in a lot to the goddamn Jets podcast. Um, I still like those guys. It's just that their podcast is on Tuesdays at like five and ours is at eight, my time, obviously. Um, and I just, it's just so much work to keep up that like literally like Ian and now Gunny, cause I, I had not been super familiar with his channel. I really like him, but like, yeah, there's so much awesome. out there, you know, it, it doesn't mean that anybody hates anybody. It's just like, like, I remember I called into the goddamn Jets podcast and they're like, we have so-and-so, I forget who it was. And they're like, you guys all know him. And I was like, and I even typed it cause I have no couth. And I was like, I never heard of this fucking guy. And it was cool. We all joked about it. But, like, there's so many Jets content creators out there. And that brings me to, I just want to thank you guys for choosing us to come watch us. Because I know that you yeah. have an absolute smorgasbord of shit you could watch. So it means a lot to Mike and myself that you guys come out here and watch us. So thank you very much. And, you know, like I say, I was stoked when you brought Gunny on last week. Because I wasn't real familiar with him. I'd seen his thumbnails, like, you know, but now I like I, I subscribe and I watch him all the time whenever I can. So, you know, just just Absolutely. know um, I, lots of us. Yeah. So, folks, listen, hit those thumbs up. Let's get as many people in here as possible. Also, let's try to I mean, let's hey, let's try to break that live show thumbs up record. Uh, the more you guys hit it, the more people see us, so on and so forth. So tonight. Yes, I will be uh, revealing the Jets content creator that uh, I'm not too hot on, and and it's, it's I guess it's fine at this point to finally reveal it because it's just it's just getting too much. Um, we're gonna talk about the Jets uniforms throughout the night, man. It is a funeral for these old shitty uniforms, so and uh, yes, and you, yes, and and you guys can call in uh, and talk to us. But before we get once again, there was some someone in the green room, but I'm gonna while they've they've busted out i want to say hi to valerie who's there uh she's the first lady uh everything old is new again and i don't think i think we have two jeromes by the way i, yeah, I, I, I do. because the other jerome has a profile picture uh oh by the way uh I, I, 
I'm going to need yours too, uh, Maddie, because my wife uh, didn't save the uh, packaging, uh, which because she ended up opening the jersey by accident. Uh, so I need your address. Anyone who is owed a sticker on Instagram, yeah. private message me uh, on uh, X, Twitter, DM me at Midnight Mike Show, M I D N I T Mike Show. Get me your address, get me your P.O. box, whatever. The reason I bring that up is because Ted, I know, but I know Ted gave me his, I think, on Instagram. So I will be getting that out to him. Uh, hey, Mike and Matt, what's up, Ted? Great to see you. Ted, of my course, man. our girl Monique is here. Our girl Monique, what's up, we Monique? love you. And she just says, Still the cutest. Hey. Monique has the cutest profile <laughs> picture. Like the cutest kids. They're adorable. If the Jets if the Jets draft Brock Bowers, it would mark only the sixth first round tight end in franchise history. I don't want him. I don't. I don't. I really don't. I, I'll be honest with it's you. It's not hate. And I don't hate Brock Bowers. I just yeah, don't it's not hate. Tight end is what we need to draft. Yeah. Once again, uh, Dakota, I want to point this out. It would Brock Bowers potentially be the best tight end in our tight end room? Possibly. Yeah. Most likely. But I think that we have a great tight end room. And when you think about uh, everything else, when you think about the tight ends we have, they're all, I think, going to improve this year, right? Then you have, what do we really need? We need to protect fucking Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, we so need if we are at sure. 10, yeah, if we are at 10, we better be taking an offensive lineman. We or if one of the great insurance. wide receivers, yeah, if one of the great wide receivers happens to fall um i i'd be okay with taking them but seriously okay with the tight end it's just we don't need it we don't really need it that's all i'm saying and again again brock bowers would make our team better I'm not going to argue with that but we just have to focus on we have a one to two year window right now really we have a one year window it's time we we have to go with what's going to get us closest to a ring i, I well i would say two but we play it as if it's one. You got to play it as if it's one because how many one year contracts did we get? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Correct. Absolutely. Uh, Jerome, OJ Simpson, may he rest in piss. Look, OJ can be at peace Welcome. knowing finally that his wife's killer has died. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now he could be, he can rest. You're right. But, uh, you know, OT, I'm going to throw a hot uh, take at this. Oh, go ahead. No, go. No, go. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say. We all know he did it, but, and I know this might get people angry with me, the verdict that was rendered was correct. And the reason I say that is that defense team established enough reasonable doubt for him yes. to be found not guilty. I'm not saying I condone it, but that's our system and that's the way it works. No. And a lot of people have forgotten that. I'm not saying I'm happy that he got no, off. I, I completely, hey, look, Maddie, I completely agree with you. I, actually, yeah. I don't think even that's on that hot of a take because the prosecution did not do their job. They fucked no. up with evidence. And if you go back and watch anything about that trial, I mean, it's just it. It the prosecution fucked up and the defense team was like amazing. It was a dream. They team. were legal so, assassins. Yeah, and you have to remember, folks, that the. the thing that comes with that is and i watch a lot of true crime a lot of these things it's so important to remember that as a juror you are completely reminded over and over again that is this person guilty beyond reasonable doubt like reasonable it, it, doubt. it has that to be a big one yeah it, yeah it has to be like if you have even the slightest doubt in your mind as a juror you're supposed to and vote i'm sorry not guilty. the defense 100 established reasonable doubt it's just the way it is. Yeah. It's like, I mean, again, we all know what happened, but legally, this is the way the system works. Again, not an OJ fan. Stop loving him after uh, Naked Gun. But we got to we gotta acknowledge that the defense team did their job. Absolutely. And once again, someone po popped in literally for a second and then popped back out of the green room. So I, I don't green know what room to tell you here. Us. Get in here. Now, now, here's another thing, Maddie. For some reason, yep. even though I went through all of that stuff, getting new internet, hooking it directly up into my computer and all that stuff, for some reason tonight, I'm still having a little bit of lag. I'm still having a little bit of problem. And I'm thinking that on Tuesday, since it's a show that we end up putting behind the paywall after it's live, mm -hmm. um, I may do a test to run this off of Wi-Fi as opposed to running it off of, of the plug-in. Because oh, for some reason, Wi-Fi... Yeah, I'm not going to do it in the middle of this show. I'm not going to, you know, right. fuck around while we're live. But we'll My see. We'll see what runs goes better on Wi-Fi than plugged in half the time. Like I've literally had to switch connections. So yeah, let's 
Let's play around with it. If you want to get on earlier on Tuesday and screw around with just you and me and try some things out, we can do that too. Uh, that might be a possibility. I don't know. Let me know. A lot of it all depends on like when my kids get kids get to bed and all that stuff. Uh, gotcha. So that's why I usually put stuff. Already feeling good. Uh, everyone is feeling much better than we did last week and the week yeah. before when we were uh, just violently ill. Um, right. But yeah, I'd say I'd say we're all doing pretty good. The good the kids all had off this week for spring break. And, oh, you guys uh, have spring break. Yeah. This week. That's cool. Yes, we did. Uh, CJ Uzama to the Philadelphia Eagles is very laughable. Couldn't agree more. I hope they're ready to take a bunch of penalties because that's what's going to end up happening. Yeah, I that, that's like not even worth talking about. Yeah, oh, I, I could get I could Fine. care less if, if CJ Uzama is gone. I mean, that uh, one thing we will tell you know, let's talk about it right now. We re signed Ashton Davis, so that was okay. awesome. That is great really for our safety that. room. I honestly, yeah. I, I thought he was going to go out and test the market, and I was really pleased to see because they, they really didn't talk about him much. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't hear that he was visiting anybody or anything else. Um, I was very happy to see that. Uh, hey, Monique, thank you very much. Love you, babe. Um, but, yeah, I was I, that was a great re-sign. Um, it is. Very happy with that one. And I, I watched Dakota awesome put in here Legion of Doom. Movie. Like he put in Legion of, Do of Doom, uh, maybe as a maybe as a uh, a nickname for our defense or our offense. But the thing that's been going around that I like the most for our offensive line was the Secret Service. I oh, think I like that's that. a great name for our, for our offensive like line that. since Rogers was doing that vice president thing. I really <laughs> All right, let's like try to let, let me try to get right the Secret Service. Let's try to get. Uh... Oh no. Fake ass men. <laughs> What's up? Oh my god, I love it. I love the mask. What's up, guys? I'm, How you I'm doing? Getting, I'm getting hard infrared vibes from fake ass men. <laughs> hard. Recognize the voice. You win. Matt. You you win, Maddie. You win. Eddie, my man. Good to see you, bud. Dude, I love your backdrop, man. You put Dude. some work into that. It's fantastic. Yeah, my son helped me out with that. That's great, dude. I love yeah, the good, not good only the clothes. background, but the, the mask. mask. Yeah, love he the mask. picked the mask out. He picked the mask out last year. That's hot, dude. So, I like it. I like yeah, it. we got, got it from New York. Logo uh, and everything. Yes, sir. We actually got it last year. So, if you guys, so how you feeling out, about things this week, brother? Hey, talk to us. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we move on from the mask, um, I yeah. have to ask: Was that bought like that, or did you paint? Did you guys uh, paint that like that? No, nah, we had to buy it, man. Um, it's from a guy from uh, Etsy, actually. He really? sells them for eighty dollars, eighty-five dollars each. Yeah, I got three of them. I got the oh. green one, the white one, and the black one. Yeah, See, man. Now, so, uh, damn, infrared is a man Infra committed to infrared. his craft, and I respect it. I infrared it. is rolling in money. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> I work a lot of overtime, bro. My man, a lot, a lot of overtime, man. Before New York Dude, I love it. Uh, it looks great. Man. It looks fantastic. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. And the it. backdrop, dude, like I say. So what I, like, I noticed you put some work into that shit. It's not like you're a full-time YouTuber, so much yeah, love. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, Actually, my, my son showed me how to, like, um, do all the art and everything like that, like to remove backgrounds okay. and everything. And I'm, I'm a little artistic. Oh, yeah, to make like a transparent stuff. or a PNG file? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, um, you know, I just pretty much... He told me to mirror image it on the flat screen TV and then, you know, jump on the show. So I wanted to do it last week, but I had audio issues. Yeah. Um, okay. Jumping on your show last week. So that's what sucked, man. But I was like, damn, I wanted to get on the show. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy to jump on today. I love it, dude. You look great. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. So, so, so tell me, how excited are you for Monday? Very excited. Very excited. Because this, this has been a long time coming. Um, you know, well, Mike, you know, we, well, you too, you too, Maddie, we've been diehards. You're talking about yeah, since like time. 89, 90. So when the, when art art, when this logo went away in 93, 94, it, it, it broke my heart as a kid, you know, and then getting the NY oh, with hold the on jets, now. it killed me. Like, no, hold on, hold on. We do have to, like, I want to try to be as accurate as possible. So that yeah. that swoosh logo that you're wearing on that hat that you have behind you uh, yeah. came in in 78, 
and it then yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it, it yeah, officially yeah, yeah. was changed it was officially changed during the 1989 or 1990 season to right, include right, right. a a black right, outline right. and then black that outline, went till yeah. 97 and then 98 we moved to the yeah, uh, the yeah. old school yeah the, the, saw, yeah that I, ny that sucked for me man like that killed me that broke my I don't heart. hate the ny thing yeah but I didn't like I don't man. love it but I saw an interesting photo so when they were making the switch in 78 before yeah. they unveiled the jerseys, they played preseason games with that helmet, with mm-hmm. the you know the fin, but the old yeah. uniforms. Yeah. Oh wow! I want to check that out. Yeah, I'll find yeah, if I can happened. find it, I'll send it to you. But it's it's funny to see them wearing the the '68 uniforms with the different helmet. It was pretty cool. Yeah, they did it all through the preseason, and then when the regular season started, they went back. To, went to be straight. honest, brothers, like both of you brothers, right? To be honest, I think Woody, you know how like the Washington Redskins, their owner, um, said that they could never change, like whoever bought the team could never change. He put it in the contract that they could never change the logo. I think Woody Johnson did, should do the same for us, like with this logo right here. Yeah, but never Woody's change, never man. selling this team. Yeah, no, he's not. Uh, but I mean, just put it in the contract, put it in ink, you know. This this I should be our logo that. forever. It should it should be our logo forever. To, to, to be fair, I lo- I love my favorite. It's a, because I grew up with it. Obviously, is that logo the swoosh uh, fin logo? Uh, it's it's right. my favorite. It's my memories and all of that. Um, I do like the one with the NY behind it, but the '98 logo was literally an oval. It wasn't a football like like you see right yeah, here behind me with the was, yeah, 68. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, the 68 yeah. was a football. And then when they yeah, came out with the new primary logo, which is on my hat, they made it more like a football. And I actually, yeah. this is the one part of the new uniform, of the last five-year uniforms that I don't mind that much. And it's because, okay, like that. you said, the NY behind it is kind of like muddled. It's just, it's just too much. Too much. It's, it's Whereas tactful. this logo... It's, it's, yeah, this this one's clean. Yeah, but for this me, one man. clean. This Simple. one did clean it up a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it did. But I still, this the fin bit. logo, the swoosh logo. That's where we need to be. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. This two thousand twenty four guys, come on, man. And we all together. agree on it. Like that's the thing. I, I don't <laughs> yeah, know one. Do. I, gotta, I, I don't know a dissenting it. opinion on that at all. Yeah. Hold on, I got to bring this up. Hyro said with a new picture, by the way, says okay, a lot of mock up. showing the J- the Jets taking an edge at number ten. If the Jets nah. draft anyone on the defense in their first round pick, I'm gonna go fucking crazy. That's yeah, all I'm saying. Go That's not gonna but, happen, bro. That's I don't think it happen. will either. I really don't. I I, I just nah. don't. I don't nah. see it. <laughs> JD would have, would, like, <laughs> would have a heart attack, bro. He would have a heart attack. Oh, he'd get me? fucking lynched, man. Like there'd be yeah, motherfuckers man. with torches yeah. and pitchforks outside one Jess Drive. <laughs> oh, I would, would go nuts. nuts and uh, by the way, Dakota is Dakota is putting in all the uh, I believe all the tight end uh, our tight end numbers. Um, the one that really sticks out the most to me as it was the Jerome. it was the Kyle Brady, um, and it's only because he was drafted over Warren Sapp. And <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Oh my I'm god! Never gonna forgive those motherfuckers for that. <laughs> like, listen, I mean, we were though, all screaming, "We want sap!" Yeah, Everybody, yeah, there were signs was. for God's sake. Yeah, but the thing is, that is that was, the thing is, is that so Kyle Brady, Kyle Brady, it was not horrible. He was no. average. You know, he was he was what he was. But when you put him in there, knowing you took him over Warren Sapp, it makes it just like you want to like you no. want to cry. It's like it was awful, another dude. Jets it's being like, the Jets. Uh, do I, I don't know. Yeah. Talk about it. We're gonna go offense. What's up, Lisa? We're gonna go. We're gonna go Hi, Lisa. Lisa. All right, we're trying to move through Hello. some of these comments. Get try and get caught up a little bit. Let's see here. Dakota, I mean, you are, you, I can't read everything you send in. Yeah. I mean, Dakota, it's, it's, they fly Dakota. Dakota's our like statistician, yeah. man. I like her. Love Dakota, man. Love Dakota too, like, man. So Dakota has hot talks? takes, but I, I like, you know, I'm very active and I love it. <laughs> so he says, dog? so with all, with all those, with all those stats that he, yeah. And, and remember last week, remember last week when Gunny was on? And uh, Gunny's dog barked, and I blamed Maddie. And Maddie's like, "Yeah, hey, yeah, I, I was, uh, yeah, I was, I was watching. I was his, watching the show. <laughs> his dog, Maddie's dog, has been going this whole show. <laughs> I haven't even noticed. I'm so numb to it. We need yeah, to get, we need to get Maddie's dog a headset and a microphone. 
Yeah, might as well put them on. That, yeah, the dog will bark whenever <laughs> bullshit pops up. They're like, we should draft a fucking tight end. Ruff. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Anthony Beck like, wasn't uh, a bad tight end, by the way. I want to point out. He says, bad. He like, says nah, so it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. I just, I don't. He says, like so technically, the, the Jets have not had a legitimate number one tight end I since agree, 1972, the year the Dolphins went all the way. Let that sink in. Once again, Kyle Brady was not horrible. Anthony Beck wasn't horrible. It's just that once again, like, do we? I'd rather have the wide receiver or the offensive lineman. I'm well, sorry. You, you it's just, I, I'm sorry, Brock Powers is farming at this point. You look at who they drafted, who they could have drafted. There's always somebody so much better. Yeah, in those cases. To be honest, brother, brother Maddie, I don't see Bowers then, being at number ten. I don't see him being there. I don't, yeah, I expect him to be gone by then anyway. Yeah, be he'll be there, gone there anyway, teams, man. There are I'm teams not even that stressing need it. a tight end. Right, I'm now. not even to be honest with you guys. Right, I've been more focused on the fourth round pick. Who we're gonna pick at quarterback? That's what I've been thinking about this whole day, brother. Yesterday as well. Like I, we we need to get a damn quarterback, bro. I haven't, for, but for, now for you've been bugging my ears. To sit for two, years, to sit for two years, you, you know, to sit for two three years I, behind Aaron. Wow. I think it's gonna be Jordan Travis. That'd be it's great. Be I'm Travis. all for it. Or or even bro, even yeah. I checked out this guy today, Milton. He's six foot five. He's three inches taller than A Rod. He's got an arm. Right, you sit him for two, three years behind a rod to teach him how to read defenses, dude. He could be lights out. The thing is, with me, we have not hit on a quarterback to throw for over 20 tutties, 20 touchdowns since 2015. Now, to me, that's a problem. I that's hate a big problem. We, we got to address this. Like, uh, we're, we're a family here, right? Jets family, we, we got to address the quarterback <laughs> issue. We have to hit the quarterback, man. I just Every time we draft a quarterback, I feel like we're like, yeah. hi, here's this... mad cow disease. Go to hell. <laughs> yeah, but this year is different. We got to is... hit on it, man. We have to, brother. So. We have to. I, I, yeah, but it's got to be late. I have to, I have to move through these comments, guys. I have yeah. to move through these comments, and hey, this Betty? is my wife. <laughs> oh, that's your wife? Coming in, and that's my wife, and she wrote the only Jets content I watch. But the reason she made her name Betty Table is because we we collect um we 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 collect like uh mid century modern furniture things of that nature. So anything from the fifties and sixties, even seventies, uh, we love. And recently, okay. we were able to get you know those old fifties like kitchen tables that had the chrome yeah. around the outside, and, yeah. and they had all the chrome wow. chairs. Yeah, they got yeah. a whole so restaurant we were able to in get... Disney World with that. Wow. Yes. So we yes yes. So we ended up finding one for free, and it's in stellar condition. And when I went to go pick wow. it up, I my wife my wife likes to name things when we get them in the house so like a, years back we, we were when we were living in philadelphia we got a new washing machine so she named it martha washing washing machine okay martha. um so there's yeah martha washing right. machine so then I, when when i went and picked up this table i said what could i name what could what, what rhymes with table and i thought of betty grable so betty i said grable. let's just name it betty table and then that stuck so that's exactly what... i see why yeah, you so were that's why we're dealing with that comment from my wife <laughs> but i love it and your wife is very <laughs> yes so. please yeah. revealed monday awesome you definitely out kicked your coverage there slick <laughs> i know i did with mine too oh man you guys are awesome micro says <laughs> seems we're just like dickheads. you made some yeah. good moves yeah. Yeah. <laughs> i don't Mike, Michael, what Michael, what team you uh rooting for yeah, Micah, who's who's your squad? Are you a Jets fan or are you just, you know, checking out stuff on a Saturday night? Talk to us. But thank you for being here, 100%. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Brock Bowers or Romo Dunze? I would rather have, I would rather have Romo Dunze, by the way. Yeah, I don't I But just, they're not going to be there. See, they're not going to be there. I don't see there, Brock though. Bowers. One, I think it's 50-50 not... he'll even be there at 10, and two, again, I just don't think the Jets need to draft the tight end and they're not gone. Uh... You're right. You're right, brother Matty. Um, the thing is, too, the Colts are interested in uh, Bowers, so we could trade back with the Colts, guys. And we also forget there are teams that could trade up and and jump us to get them. You know, yeah, I mean, there's, yeah. You know, we 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 always get. I feel like we get kind of tunnel vision on just the Jets. Like we're just gonna be at ten, and there's nothing that's gonna change. That one through nine can go anywhere, anytime. Anywhere, yes, sir. So it'll be interesting. Yeah. 
I'm more focused really on the fourth round. <laughs> I know. Well, now you got me I'm, thinking I'm quarterback. Like yeah, dude. Fourth yeah. The fourth round, brother. That's what I'm focused on. You think so, Wild Sorry, Wave? Guys. Yeah. Um, uh, Wild Wave says we trading up for one of the top three wide receivers. I'd be okay with that. I'm okay with yeah, that. Yeah, I would, I would be okay. Top three, yeah. But I, I don't see it happening. I don't think that uh, I don't I think mind. that we're going to make that trade because I don't think we have enough to offer. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that wild wave. Um, to get an MHJ, imagine A Rod throwing a, a bomb to Marvin Harrison Jr. Like cheese and rice. That would be crazy. That'd be amazing. I just, I really don't think we have the package to offer to get there. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, we don't even have a second rounder. Cool. Yeah, we don't. We need one. I just want to point out that we have, we have great support uh, in the comments section. Great support of people watching coming in and out. I really appreciate that. So if you are have hopped in here, please hit those thumbs up buttons, uh, or the thumbs up button, and subscribe. Uh, most like mostly hit that thumbs up button because that will show other people that we are live on YouTube right now. We'll get more people in to join uh, Maddie and myself, our infrared. Uh, and once again, like that, that's all we ask. Like I, I want super chats. Yeah. I would love those. You'll jump to the front. I'll make sure that I read your comment. Um, I want memberships, all that stuff. But deep down, I want people watching. I want, I want people commenting, and I want people hitting. The thumbs up button. Definitely. And here is Sasha um, wearing I would like the the swan song of this jersey for it shall be <laughs> no more. And it's no funny. More. I is that, is that, is that your Quinn and Williams jersey? It's mine, yeah. That's my but, favorite uh, player. <laughs> love Quinn. Oh, okay. But it was funny because I told her she was I was like, Well, if you're gonna wear something, you know, if you're gonna come on the show, put something jets on. And she just picked that, and I was like, Oh, nope. it's very fitting because it's sunset time because <laughs> this one will get a new jersey. Her sister will get a new jersey. Nice. I'm, nice. I'm going to go to prison for being poor, for maxing out all my credit cards for new jet shit. <laughs> you know, we all are. Like, all of all of us are going to make very bad decisions I, Monday morning. I, I'm on the same boat, brother. <laughs> right. Like, it's a done deal. So, yeah. Hi. Hey. <laughs> First lady of the West Coast Jets. Hi, Sasha. Here. Sasha's going to get a Jets chant. Hold on, everyone. Quiet. <laughs> So, hey, you might want to record this, but hey, Sash, who do you want to win? The goddamn Jets. There we go. My child. <laughs> my father, right. your award keeps getting That's lost in right. the mail. The but goddamn God, Jets. Best dad ever. Best dad ever. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you can't beat that with a bat. Um, I, I do. I, I, uh, if red, also, uh, you, uh, if if you have a if you have a PO box or anything like that, an address, hey, whatever you can send me, I want to send you out some stickers too. So uh, either on Twitter or Instagram or something, try to send me somewhere where I can send you those stickers. Awesome. Also, Ed, um, there is a rumor. My brother and I are talking about maybe going out east to uh, catch the Jets Broncos game at at uh, MetLife. At MetLife? So, yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, no, I'll, we should I'll meet up and have dinner, get some yeah. drinks, something. That's cool. I'll get in touch That's with cool. it. It's, it's the embryonic stages of it, but uh, we're talking it, about it. Consider it done. Yeah, we'd love to fucking just catch Consider up. Consider it uh, done, man. You know, like I say, Mike, you want to drive it. down? We could all go. Fuck it. Make it a whole thing. I love it. I'm going to Tennessee. I'm going to that game. Attaboy. Uh, I got I to gotta fly out, yeah. But then I always catch a Halloween game with my son. Uh, I don't know who we're going to play in Halloween, but. Um, but I'll catch one with you guys. That's not a problem. Yeah, the schedule comes out what July, I think. Yeah, I think late, late, late July. Late July or uh, early August. Somewhere yeah, there. yeah. yeah so actually, it's around. Well, August, August like is the first week of August, so it should be. Yeah, we'll yeah, have it. We right. should have it. It might even be late, late June. Who knows? Yeah, yeah. But I'm excited, man. Like I say, I haven't been this excited for the Jets in so long. Like, yeah, so we deserve it, man. We deserve it. We, we deserve have paid it. our dues. Yes, sir. Uh, many many moons <laughs> many moons <laughs> i want to i want to uh, jump in here and say that uh i want to i want to jump in and say that wild wave uh pretty much i'm i'm with you completely if we miss out on the top three wide receivers or don't trade up uh just trade back and, and go o-line and i'm okay I'm with, that, with that especially 100%. if we can pull out somehow getting a second round you know yeah a second if we round can pull out there. getting a second rounder i'm 100 percent in because i really would like yeah, that definitely Definitely. Build a wall for Brees Hall and A-Rod. 
Oh God, it's gonna be it's gonna be sweet. I mean, it's like imagine imagine if we have an offensive line that basically stays healthy the whole year. Like obviously, if Tyron goes down for a game or three, or like uh, you know Moses, some one of these guys go down and they bring in. I'm saying like healthy as in we get our offensive line for 13 to 15 games. We oh man, it's gonna that is gonna be a wall. Dude, I feel like Hawkeye right now. I'm like, don't do that. Don't keep. Yeah, Hawk, Hawk is Hawk is good though. <laughs> But He's yeah, funny. no, I mean, I mean, if, if the Jets again, and I hate that we have to say it every time we talk about this upcoming season, but if they stay healthy, Jesus Christ, that AFC East is yeah, it's it's not even it's 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 ours for the taking. I mean, mm-hmm. all right, now yeah. listen, guys, because of my because of my internet issues, I don't want to clog up the stream and bring in another person and risk it getting even worse. Oh, so uh infrared i got Mets in the green room i'm gonna bring him in um if there's anything right. give us give everybody your uh twitter account because you make some really badass graphics yeah oh, dude yeah, he's no, fucking funny it. yeah i appreciate it man um it's basically infrared uh 8979 um but it's an underscore dot infrared 8979 you can check me on twitter and um also, my handle on um, Instagram, even though I don't go on there that much, but yeah, it's on both both accounts. Yeah, infrared eight nine seven nine. And Mike and I both follow him, so if for some reason you can't find awesome. him, just follow us and hit our followers. We'll get him. We'll you'll yeah. find him. You guys kick That's ass, it. man. I'm gonna watch the rest of the show. Enjoy, Ed, guys. You're the man, like Chewbacca right. knows hand. You got it, brother. Likewise, take care, guys. Have a good one, infrared. Can't wait to have you back, especially if you're going to be wearing that kick-ass Jason mask or oh, hockey mask, yeah, whatever dude. you want to call it. It changes to fucking Jason <laughs> Jetties. I love it. That looks so good, dude. And the fact he got all three, he's got to wear the ne- the other ones in the next few weeks. I want to see the white one. I really do. I, dude, like, I, I, I like the white one. I'm going to... I'm going to... I can't believe... My internet is so bad right now. Like, I literally f- fucking... How? What is wrong with everything in my with, with my internet? I don't okay. get it. Well, I, I, I. Let uh, me. I'll tell you what. Why? I'm. I'm. A, I'm just gonna unplug. Stream, Let's see. It. After the stream, like no, no, tomorrow, no, no, no. I, I don't want to wait till after the stream. No, I'm going to unplug right now. If I if I leave, I'll be back. I'm gonna unplug okay. and then try to go to that. Wi-Fi. If All right. Worst comes to worst, we can and try. Wait, it let me bring it. Let me bring in. Let me bring in Mets for you. Oh yeah, you're hey guys. Gonna, you're gonna dip out. And I'm gonna go. have to listen to wrestling talk. Thanks. There you go. I'm, I'm leaving you with Mets. Mets oh, is gonna scream mother- about something. I love when Mets screams because usually I'm not really opposed to what he's arguing. I bet you're happy with what happened earlier this afternoon, Maddie. Which would be what? Rangers beating the Islanders in a shootout. Yeah, dude. So I, I okay. Let's talk about that for a minute. We had the game on at the prison, and I straight up ignored all my duties. People were probably getting shanked left and right, and my happy ass was just watching the game in the pod with like three offenders. But I yes, was doing my own call of that game this afternoon. Well, look, dude, the the Rangers had to win that game. Like the Rangers have to win out if they want to have. I by the way, I love the way Mike's face is frozen right now. It literally looks like he's like choking out a hooker over there. Um, yeah, no, I was very happy about that. Um, I'm not. you know, Mets, we've never talked about this. Are you a hockey fan? Yes. Who's your team? Isles. Why do you do this to me? I want to love you. I do. And everything you say just makes me want to fucking strangle you. And I do love you. Um, dude, but let's talk about that. Patrick Waugh has fucking really changed the culture of that team and made them look really good. You well, cannot be mad about that. Well, there's one thing I can be mad about with this team. It's the special teams unit, specifically the kill unit. It sucks! Right, but you know what? At, on my end, the Rangers cannot fucking score five on five. Like, today was the first time they bothered to do that in how long? True. There he is. He's back. But I mean, honestly, Lane Lambert was is an old, and it doesn't seem like it's gotten any better. Was it's, an uh, yeah, it's a little, a little inconsistent imbecile when it came to special teams. Last Dude, year, it was mediocre. But the all I'm going to say about today's <laughs> game is the fact that Dobson was out today with an upper body injury. The bitch assness was knee deep. That was weak. 
And I know this is not a hockey hockey show, but let's move on. Let's move on. How the so Mets again? No. Before we move on, are are you, are you hearing me okay? Yeah, we're getting you. You're a little a little fuzzy, but you're okay. Um, what I was gonna say is that that uh, how awesome was that fight that when the Devils and Rangers just dropped shit at the drop of the oh, puck and just decided to pound on each other. Well, what's funny is I know the forwards all agreed to it, like they all lined <laughs> up and like, all right, let's do this. And the defensive were like, oh, I guess we're doing this. And yeah. I, I I was unaware of the rule that yeah anybody after the first fight just got bounced. So like Jacob Truba and all those guys were like. Well, free paycheck tonight, kids. Let's go fucking sit in the fucking hot tub and watch the rest of the game. But that was great. But I was also surprised that they, the Rangers did not dress Rempe today against the Islanders. Actually, he was on the ra- on the ice. Was was he on the bench? You just never saw any time? He was on the ice. I checked. Are you sure? I watched the whole damn thing. Well, I'm sorry. Some of us have jobs, motherfucker. Don't yell at me. And I even called it from where I'm sitting. I, I just find it strange that I didn't see him at all. He might have skated, but I don't think he got any actual game time. Which, you know, that happens. I mean, shit, that's my college career. But I mean, I mean right now I'm seeing through Bruins Penguins, and for both teams it's crucial. For both our teams it's crucial, Matt. Either the, um, the Penguins win and I, uh, not- the Bruins out of the President's Trophy contention, or the Bruins win and knocks the Penguins out of the wild card hunt for a bit. Ugh. Bruins Penguins is like watching like your ex wife and her new boyfriend fight. Just want to let you guys. I, I, I just want to let you guys know the the the, the, the Wi Fi did, did not work. Um, I I plugged back in and it's okay. just I, I don't know. I'm gonna go crazy. Like I'm literally. Did, I don't know what else I can do. Make did to make you reset your things work on my, on my on this I'm, fucking show. How about make it, how about dude? I've restarted my modem. I've restarted the computer. I have done everything. I got a whole. Gotcha. I just Maybe. did. I literally have bra- a brand new router. A brand new. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Um. We can, uh, like I say, if if worse comes to worse, maybe I can host and we can go from there and like you know, I, I don't know. We'll we'll talk later, but we we'll work together to fix this, dude. We'll make this work. Don't worry. Just we'll 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 get it figured out. I promise. Between the two I of us, I, 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 it's just frustrating me to all hell that this is happening again. I went through all that shit with Xfinity, finally got rid of them, brought in a whole new internet company that it worked amazing for, for like a month weeks. or two. And, and yeah. now and now it just dropped off. Okay. Are you well, trying T-Mobile? Well, all right. Let's let's make the best of what's around as Dave Matthews says. Just relax, Mikey. It's going to be okay. Um So that said, Again, Monday, new logo. We're excited. So, Mets, as a Giants fan, do you even give a shit about the new logo and the rebrand for the Jets, or do you just really like whatever? More, whatever. I mean, to be fair, I mean, what you guys were saying about what the Jets should get in the draft, we've known this team has had a history of shooting itself in the foot. I mean, you brought up the Kyle Brady over Warren Sapp drafting. Where people were afraid to strangle Leon Hess for that. Yeah, I'm actually amazed Homicide was not committed. On Hess? Yeah. Because you know his hand, he had his fingers in that pie like a motherfucker. And then, of course, there was the hiring of Rich Kotite, where you really wanted to get break out the news. It's, you know... It is what it is, but let's just say this. Okay, so can we all agree that if we can't get a top three wideout, and I mean top three, not fourth or fifth, whatever else, we want to draft offensive line. And if the opportunity presents itself, trade back, get a second rounder. Like, for example, if the Jets traded their 10th pick to whomever, went back to 17 but got a second round pick, how many of us would have any problem with that? Not me. Not at all. It's it's not a yeah. bad deal. 
We'd be trained back if we go 17th. We'd be trained back with Jacksonville. Okay, I, I just picked 17th because I think that's probably the most like in the range guess. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I think that would work. But again, but then I also wonder how hard do we want to prioritize recovering a second round pick? Is like, is there a target in the second round the Jets really like? The Jets did very well in the second round that year. We had our hot shit draft. So uh -huh. it's important to think about. But this this year's draft is such a fucking wild card. Like, honestly. Yeah, you know I mean, what I mean? It's yeah, there's I mean, let's not so kill, much. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. I mean, the top three wideouts in this draft so far, Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, and Rome Oldunzi. None of which are in the Jets' striking range. I unless really don't think any of those guys will be around at 10. I just don't. Do you? That's what I'm saying. Unless we yeah. trade up, which we're not going to do, we're not getting I, I genuinely don't want to trade up. I really don't. One, like I said earlier, I do not think the Jets have – hold on, I got a cough. Have the package to offer. I really don't. Like, Really? You're going to lose out on one of the top three wideouts on this draft from what? You're going to get the Jets' 10th round pick and what? Maybe a third round this year and a, a second next year or whatever. No, no one's going to take that because the wideouts in this draft class from what I've seen, and again, I'm not the draft guru, but the wideouts in this draft class are top Valid. tier. You know? Yeah. So I mean, after and they don't need a wideout right this second. True. I mean, after Adunze, the next one down is Brian Thomas Jr. Who would be that 17th pick projected-wise. Right. And, but again, if we're at 17 and we traded back and there's still a decent offensive lineman, they're 100% going to take him. I really feel that way. But then again, I thought they'd take Warren Sapp. So... But that said, I, I, I'm i excited for this draft because there's so many wild cards, so many X factors. It's going to be like, I mean, genuinely, I'm going to watch the draft like I would watch a movie. I'm going to be entertained. Mm -hmm. Welcome back, buddy. What movies have Hey, you what's seen up, man? Before? Listen, this is what, this is, this is what I'm going to say. Um, I just I just literally left my studio and went out and talked to my wife, and I was like just pissed off, and I was just like, what the fuck is going on? You know, and she says that on her end, like, cause I'm saying when I talk to you guys, you guys are delayed by like 15 seconds okay. for your responses to what I say. So I never know where to jump in uh, to say anything, but she says on her end that it's coming out fine. And that like, she's not noticing it as much as I'm noticing it. Um, so we're it, going to try to work it out. Um, guys hit the terrible. thumbs up. All right. So Mets just asked me what movies have I All right. Really? So what were you guys talking said, about? Oh, we don't know. We were talking about WrestleMania. He's converted. No, me. it was like we're I'm a Hulkamaniac. Like, but how would we how would we feel if we trade back? Yeah, I can't hear a thing you're saying. And O line. I, I, I can't hear. All right. Uh Mike just just you know, catch what you can catch. But we basically we're just talking draft. Um but uh we did We'll take a quick aside. I did watch a wild ass horror movie. I know you're a horror movie fan, though, Michael. But this is, uh, this is, it's this is going down in flames quick. Going nah, down we're in fine. fucking we're, flames. We're we are going to be fine. I'm just everybody in the chat. Are you miserable? You're good, right? We've got it going. Mike's having a little delay. We got it. We're gonna just power through it. Everybody be cool. We're like a couple little Fonzies. Everything's gonna be fine. But Mike, I All know right. you have shutter. Here's what here's what I'm here's, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I promised okay. everybody that I was going to talk about the ways that the New York Jets, as they always do, how they always fuck shit up. I'm gonna I want to talk about the ways that, that the New York Jets can fuck up these uniforms. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you my ways and then I'm gonna stop and let you guys respond to them. So I'm going to give all four of the ways they can screw these up. Then you guys talk about it. Tell me what you think. And then same down in the comments section. Let me know what you guys think. So here's here we go. 
If the Jets just give us the legacy uniforms that we saw against the Bills and the Chiefs, we're going to be good, Chargers. folks. I'm going to, yeah, I'll be happy. You know, most Jets fans uh, I know will be thrilled because they're the simple 80s uniforms that we all loved. And that's it. That's all we need. That's all we need. So how the Jets can fuck it up. I've talked about some of these on prior shows. And the last one is one that I am most nervous about because it was actually something released by the team. And I, I didn't bring the graphic, which I should have, but, but we'll talk about it. So the first thing is first, Nike loves to throw the city name above the front number below the, 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 the NFL logo. If they try to pull that shit, on these uniforms, I'm going to go crazy and it will probably stop me from buying the jersey. I will just get one more of the old legacy jerseys from this past season and call it a day. That's number one. The, they will, it, 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 it cannot say New York above the front number. Number two, a front, a front shoulder patch here or here. Um, leave that clear. Leave that clear for a special occasion or leave it clear for through the Super Bowl in January or February because I hate like Patrick Mahomes this year had like four patches all over his jersey and it just looks cluttered. He looked like a NASCAR driver. And I I just don't clutter up the uniform with patches on the front sleeve. Um we have that picture. I don't know. Let me see if I can pop that up. We have that picture that we always went to, and I'll go to it again right here where if they put the jets logo on the back above the number or i'm sorry above the name super tiny i'm okay with that but that's it i don't want it on the front i don't want it anywhere else on the uniform uh number three uh black uniforms we know they're releasing black uniforms so that's automatically a a a, a, a a strike against the New York Jets for these new uniforms. But the good thing is, is that I don't have to buy them. I don't have to buy them. So it's no big deal. They'll probably wear them once, maybe twice a year. And if that's the most egregious thing that comes from these new uniforms, that, and I'll deal with Black that. Are the color um, ones, right? But, but they, no, Black. well, I'm I, the, the black uniforms, like if they put out, if they put out the black uniforms like this, and they put a little bit of white trim around the name and number. I'll be okay with that because these, these you're not going to be able to read on, on TV. You're not going to be able to see that. Okay. Um, finally, this is the thing that scares me the most. Okay. In the New York Jets, when that, when that little stupid little commercial that they put out uh, right after the Super Bowl ended and it said, oh, New York Jets, new uniforms coming April 2024, you'll notice. And I wish I pulled the graphic so I could show you what I'm talking about. But where it says new uniforms coming April 2024, you'll notice it was a version of the Swoosh Jets logo, the one that we're all, you know, I don't know. I don't have it near me, but the one with the fin, except except the font, the font is just a little bit different. And if they fucking use the font that they used in that commercial, for the, the the jet swoosh on the helmet or whatever, I am going to go through the roof. And I'm very nervous about this one because they used it in that video for the announcement of the uniform coming in 2024. Uh, in the comments section, let me know what you think of my four things. Uh, Maddie uh, and, and Mets, take it over. Um, I think you have some valid concerns. I, I kind of expected you to go like, Richter scale through the roof like maniac shit. My biggest thing is this. If we hate the black uniforms, which we all do, do not buy them. It's as simple as that. Don't don't buy them and voice that you don't like them. Uh, I, as for point four, I don't think they're going to. I think that they're they're just they probably just threw that shit together really fast. I think we're going to be OK on that. Um, but you know, vote with your dollars. If you think something sucks, don't buy it. And we all hate the black uniforms. Yeah. This year they might wear it on if they get the black Friday game or whatever. But I genuinely think that after this season, 
they're going to phase out the black uniforms. I really. If do. you ask me, the black uniforms should have never been brought to existence. I mean, when up until recently, when have the Jets ever had the necessity of putting black on their uniforms? Mm, just if just in the late '90s when they did the black outline, and that's not a black uniform. Well, I'm just saying, aside from that, when, why even give this team a black uniform? I mean, for example, from 2021 no, to 2023, the New York Mets, they brought back those old Mets in black uniforms that aren't for Friday night games at City. They're not doing that again this year, for one reason or another. But, no, I, I think that after the season, especially because it sounds to me like they are finally listening to the fans and the fans don't like the black uniform. They don't see the point of it. And I think that after this year, and I don't think there, I will say this. I don't think there will be a lot of fanfare to it. Just next season. All right. So be like, no. if the black unis were color flash uniforms, here, here's what I'm going to say to this comment, this comment with wild wave. Um, hold on one sec. Uh, it, it, he wrote, they should have chosen. Those gray instead of black. I completely agree. If we are going to have a third colored uniform, it makes more sense to do something like this as a New York Jet uh, than do the black. I mean, and plus everybody does the black. It's like it's not cool anymore. Um, I'm agree. down except it's for that patch on the, on the on the on the yeah, except for the patch. The gray would have been better than the black, but at the same time, I feel like it's the lesser of two evils. I don't want either of them. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't want either of them. No, anyway. But the gray is much better. Than the, to the Jets silver. Why not just give the Jets silver or something? I think that getting back to basics, as it feels like our team is doing, by next year there won't be black jerseys, because I really don't think people are going to buy them. I don't think people like them. They're not imaginative. They're not creative. Like, rather than wear those, I'd rather us wear the uh, the jerseys that they, they started wearing in 97, 98. Wear, wear the throwbacks, the one Mike's wearing right now. Throw that down for those two games a year or whatever. But the black ones just there. Our team is green and white. It's as simple as that. Stop fucking with it. I mean... I just, I mean, you guys remember from like 04 to 07 when the Giants had those red uniforms, right? Yeah, the tampons. Yeah, I didn't like those red ones, mostly because I always viewed them as ill omens in the same way I view their going to their throwback 80s roadies as an ill omen for their color flash. Because they always seem to lose in those damn things. I can see that. Dakota with the hot, hot takes. My goodness. I mean, I just want to point out real quick um, while while I have you guys there. Another problem that I'm having is not only the lag, but it's also I can only hear one in three words you guys are saying. So if this continues, I am going to have to end the show early, um, which I apologize for, and I'll have to figure something out. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know why it worked uh, a month ago uh, for, for an entire month and a half or whatever. And then all of a sudden, over the past two weeks, it's just went to hell. Um, but it, it's, it's, it is what it is. And if I can't hear you guys, uh, it's a big it's a big problem for since it's the Midnight Mike show. It's a problem that I can't hear the people on my show. Understood. So I'm just letting Understood. you guys know. No, I got you. I, that makes sense. And True. I'm sorry, Mike, you're having these problems. Same here. My point is, it is what it is. Boomer Siason had the black outline back in the day. The black makes the green and white pop out. Yeah, I, no. I mean, look, I'm uh, infrared. I'm not against. Uh, I don't want look on the green and whites. I don't want the black outline. I don't. Um, but it, 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 with the black jersey, the way that I we saw it before that I, when I showed it to you, that's just not going to look good. It's on it's just not going to look good on TV. You're not going to be able to see. And I'll I'll show you. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll show it again in a minute, but it's like you're going to have to throw a white outline there. Yeah, it's, it's going to be already, very hard to see. Isn't this team already falling inside the black? Seriously. Um, I really think... Dano, you're right. Uh, I'm sorry, Matt. I, 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 it's, hard, I, it's hard for me to catch what's going on. 
Um, I I, I'm going to pop it. It says, I, I think millennials and younger love the black, but the black haters are typically older than me. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, yeah, the older, the older heads like myself, right. like just tradition. The, 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 the younger kids, they like all like the fl- everything has to be flashy and ridiculous. Um, and well, it's just let me ask simpler you this, times to. Do you think if Mets and I left the studio and let you fly solo, it might improve things? Would that help? No, because, I, mean, I don't think so. No, you don't think so. I mean, I mean, I'm, it, I'm it would be, it would be, it would, here. It, we, no, I mean, I, I personally, no, I, I, I think that I, it would work for a little while, you know, but it's still my internet is just, it's just my computer is just, it's, nothing's working, and it's been going on now. This is the third show in a row that I've been dealing yeah. with this, and uh, like I said, when I got the new internet, uh, it was perfect, like literal perfect for over a month. And then literally past three to three three shows, this is what I've been dealing with. And it's gotcha. stressful as hell. Like trying yeah. to understand what's going on, keep up with the comments, all that stuff. It's it's unbelievably stressful. Well, all I will say is if you think that like myself or him leaving the studio, say so, and we'll let you run the ship. I, I just want to help, you know. I know you're I know you're stressing out, and I know our our, our commenters and everybody you know, thank you guys for sticking with us. And I can't, hear, I can't, I can't hear anything you're saying. I know. Listen, well, I'm just listen, 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 listen. I, I got, I, I got to end this. I can't, I, I can't, I can't do it. I can't, right. I can't hear anything you guys say. I'm out. Yeah, Mets, have a good night. Me we're too. once again, we're once again going to have to push. Uh, we're going to have to once again. Can I? I want to literally, please, folks. Those of you who are with us. Please understand that I will find a way to get this fixed. I found a way to get it, get it fixed before, but I just don't understand why I have my computer directly hooked into my brand new modem with my like internet speeds that are through the roof. I don't understand why I can't. I, I once again, what is different between the past three weeks? And since I got the new internet the past month and a half, like it was fine for a month and a half. It was perfect. It was crystal clear. What the hell is different over the past three weeks? Nothing. As a matter of fact, I've restarted my modem. I have restarted my computer more often and it's just getting worse and worse. So uh, please stick with me. Hit the thumbs up button. I really do appreciate that. Um, Maddie, I, this is like my one of my favorite nights of the week. And, and, and instead yeah, of me here. enjoying it, I'm just getting... I'm just getting pissed off, angry, and literally sweating because I'm so frustrated. Listen, tomorrow, let's you and me talk. We'll figure some shit out together. We're going to work on this together. Just remember, hey, everything is going to be okay between the two of us. We might be mildly stupid, but we can get this together. Just call me tomorrow. Let's talk some shit out. Adam, you, know, you, know, you, you know what it is, though? But you know what it is, though? It's that I know I'm going to have to de- go, get on the, the horn and deal with fucking bullshit customer service from India because I thought that this new internet company was different. But then when I had to call them to try to pay them, like, cause I, you know, they, they, they put, they installed everything, everything worked great. Um, and then I had to get in touch with them in order to give them my, my, my card and my payment information and all of that right. stuff. The, the the I, I the second I tried to do that, it was literally like hours on the phone, just like with Xfinity, pulling teeth just to get someone on the line to physically pay them. It was hard. So now I I, I, just thinking, just thinking about spending more hours on the phone with a goddamn internet company of people who can barely fucking speak English is is i'm so stressed out right now like i'm pissed off and like i I, said i know just listen call me tomorrow okay let's let's troubleshoot what we can on our end to hopefully eliminate some bullshit you have to talk to with them about we'll work together we're gonna make this work guys i know that like i say i know you guys enjoy our saturday nights too mike i know you're super pissed call me tomorrow have a few drinks. We're gonna we'll talk some shit out. We'll talk some specs on the computers. We'll do a bunch of shit together. We're we're gonna figure this out. Okay. We will get through this. Okay. I promise you. I know you're pissed. And you're rightfully I'll, so pissed. I'll do my best, but, I, but it's just gonna, tomorrow. once again, it's we'll, just gonna end up me we'll being talk. on the fucking phone for hours and 
Well, just just calm down. I'm, I'm not, Maddie. Trouble. I'm not just pissed off for me having to spend time and hours on the phone. I'm pissed off because we spent so many weeks building this show up, and we yeah. we've had the greatest numbers uh, over the past, let's say, month. They've just ris risen and risen, and more people have come in, and more people have joined the show, and right. and now tonight I'm watching just things drop as, as like I'm watching things just drop. I know. Um, and, I know. And, and it's like the number it's I'm, I, I apologize thing, this I'm not I'm what but once again hold on it's not just me I'm I'm upset for the people who dropped out I'm upset for the people who 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 comment in our comment section and like our show and give the thumbs up I'm upset for you I'm upset I couldn't talk to Mets long I'm, I'm just upset that I feel like I, I've screwed up somehow Every, like everybody's fun tonight and like it's gotten to a point where it's it's a lot of people now and and and, 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 I know, and it's just I know, but listen I, our, I, i'm just so sorry our, people, all this is going our on. fans and our people understand shit happens okay we have a mature fan base that knows and you and i have both given our word that we're going to work on this we're going to sort it out we're sorry that things went south a little bit we're going to figure it out and we'll be fine our the our loyal our loyal people hyro val Neek, I'll, Dane, you know, Wild Wave, by the way, you're new. Thank you. Infrared, we're going to take care of this. We got to work on it. You know, nothing's perfect. And we're going to get it squared away. And I know that our people will bear with us. You know why? Because they're here with us every week when we're talking about stupid shit, like our porn names or how I saw some scary movie that I liked and have to tell everybody about it or whatever else. Guys, Mike is super frustrated, as he should be, because this is his baby. This is the thing. But you guys are going to be with us. We're going to fix it. We will deliver our good content to you. That I, You have our word on that. We are going to figure it out. And just bear with us. Mike, you and I are going to get together tomorrow. Call me. We're going to figure some shit out. We're going to play with some specs. We will get through this, and we will fix it. I promise you guys... This show matters to us. We care. We genuinely care. We cared when we had seven people watching. The fact that numbers have gone up means the world to us. And I promise you we're going to fix it. And I'm really bummed out on a personal level that we don't get to do. Right, once again, I'm at it. Um, I, 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 once again, I'm hearing one in four words you're saying. So I'm going to let you, you go. I'm going to end out the show. Folks, we'll be back Tuesday night, 10, 10 p.m. Uh, we'll be back next Saturday. Uh, hopefully, we'll get this worked out. Um, and that's it. So, Maddie, thank you for joining us. Follow Guys, Maddie at Maddie Jets uh, on Twitter. And, uh, yeah, we will we will talk uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe even, Mike, even if, you're, if, if you're not, I don't know if you're going to be watching sh uh, shit with your daughter tonight or whatever. Uh, give me, yeah, give me, give me, uh, you can give me a call after this. Maybe calm me okay. down because I'll I'm about you. to yeah. go outside. No, I'll call you when it. it's done. Guys, stick with us. We're just having some technical difficulties. We will work it out. Mike, I'll call you when the stream ends. All right. Thank you, Maddie. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I wish I could talk to you. I had so many things I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about the uniforms more with you guys. I wanted to talk about a little bit more about Ashton Davis. I wanted to talk to you guys about this, this, this Jets content creator that rubs me the wrong way. But now who am I to fucking talk? I can't even have a show running because I have such shitty internet. You know, I have to, I have to figure this out because I, I, I'm, I'm to the point where if no internet company can provide me internet, we're going back to my VHS in this house because this is bull. I'll just I'll just run off my phone's uh, 5G. My wife can run off her phone's 5G. Well, I mean, it's just it's gotten I'm that frustrated. I refuse to pay for internet that doesn't work, especially when it's plugged directly into my goddamn computer. I want to thank everybody for watching. I, I I seriously thank you so much for sticking around. I promise I will work on this. I am Midnight Mike, stressed out Midnight Mike, and I can't wait to see you next time. <laughs>